How's it going, everyone? Today we have the Niche Phone S Plus. This is a Japanese device from Future Model, and this is a very good device if all you're looking for is calls, text, and a music player. It does have a couple of extra things, as you see. That's the contacts. This is messages. This is calls. This is the music player. This is a recorder, like a sound recorder. Then you have Bluetooth, alarms, and settings, and that's it. Uh, you also have the ability to do tethering, uh, but not uh, everywhere. So make sure that you get an unlocked version for this device. This does not work in the United States. I am showcasing it mainly for the international market, but it is quite a nifty device. Now, there are a couple of caveats with the hardware and I will go over them. Number one, it is quite small. So if you have trouble with your eyesight, I will not get this device because the screen is super tiny. I'm going to bring a light phone two right there. And it is a little bit smaller than the light phone two. I will bring a gargantuan uh, smartphone. So for comparison purposes, this is a pixel device. And right there, you see that uh, the pixel doesn't fit in my frame because I had to go a little bit in just because this device is so small. But as you see is essentially, um two pixel devices like uh put together like it's it's quite a large device. uh yeah it's de definitely two of these uh two for the pixel 6a so two niche phones will be the size of a pixel 6a now i will say that this device is very functional i've been using it trying to you know get the most out of it, the user experience, not necessarily carrier. I put my T-Mobile SIM card and it did work in a 2G area. There's a park nearby my house that gets 2G, but that's the only place that it works. And that's why I say it's not worth it to get it for the United States. Uh, the cost is uh, pretty modest. It's maybe about um, I think $200, so you can find them on sale for $150, uh, but I'll show you how the texting works, uh, so if you put your name or the number that you're trying to text, and then you have triple click right there, but you have some predictions, and if you go down and you press OK, then you have the ability there, then to do space, you have to press the pound key and then three, and then you have a space, so my right there shows up, let's see, name, no, See, it's not going to do it. You have to do triple click. So N-A-M-E, my name. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you have to do okay every single time. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. J-O-S-E. And then okay. My name is Jose right there. That's just an example of how texting looks in the niche phone. Uh, but you have discarded messages, you have new messages that you, that you can compose, then you have your calls. Uh, music player, I did load uh, one thing, and it does play. Uh, I uploaded my latest podcast that I released on my Substack. If you're not um, subscribed to that, make sure to check it in my Substack, uh, moving offline. Uh, so it does play the file. Uh, and right there, you have it does go back to whenever you go back you can still listen and kind of navigate through the phone uh, it does have bluetooth it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, but it does have bluetooth that you can connect to uh, let me continue going with a little bit this is the sound recorder you can record something and you can delete it you can pause it you can save it things of that nature then you have bluetooth that you can enable and then you can discover it which i think is quite nifty especially if you want to connect something like a uh, headphones or maybe even a keyboard to type uh in it i'm going to be testing that over the next few weeks that that just idea just came to my mind so you know if you have that question i will uh probably have an answer very soon i'll try to connect one of my keyboards and see if that that works then you have the alarms and then you have settings um the third one is the language one. It comes in Japanese, so it comes a little bit like this. Um, so just go to the third one, and then you'll have the options right there for English, if you speak English. And then there's a couple of other languages, I believe, simplified Chinese, and maybe another um, kind of like form of Japanese, uh, written Japanese, that is. Now you also have a context, but that's about it. Now, the battery life uh, has been really good. That's because I don't have a network or a reliable network, so, you know, it's last two, three days, and I didn't have any issues. It has a 1,000 amp uh, milliamp hour battery. So I'm not expecting it to go probably beyond three or four days, uh, even with 2G and uh, with 4G LTE, which this does have. Let me show you the settings for that. Um, probably one to two days. That's my that's my guess. It does have a Wi-Fi hotspot and a key that showcases here. It does have cellular networks. Uh, and here you will find the... Oh, I need to insert the SIM card, which I 
uh, transfer once uh, I've, I'm done with my testing. But here you will find a Vo LTE setting. So it does have Vo LTE 4G, so you can use it in pretty much any place that you want. Uh, you have about phone and a factory reset if it's not for you. Uh, and then, of course, right here, the tethering key is quite nifty. You can connect it to the hotspot. And of course, you know, like you can also turn it off and turn it on uh, with the different things right there because it doesn't have a SIM card. It's probably not going to, you know, have that ability. But um, turning off the hotspot, uh, you have that ability to, to do maybe work in a smarter device, a laptop or something like that, uh, and bring this very small device. Like I said, it's quite small. This is, again, a comparison with the light phone. And the screen is very, very tiny. It's probably maybe one inch maybe even less i don't even know like i mean the, the light phone is like two inches or so this one is definitely like half an inch and it's quite quite small so i wouldn't recommend it another caveat and something that you should know before you purchase this device is that it doesn't have a charging port uh, easily accessible so as you see right here because it's so slim and so small they were not able to include a charger but they do have the charger here with the pins so they give you an adapter Essentially, you charge it with this, the Niche Phone S right there. It's magnetic, it ma uh, magnetized. And then you have a USB, uh, micro USB right here in order to charge it. So you attach it and then you charge it and then that's it. In order to insert the SIM card, you have a slot right here that you will um, kind of like have to get out. Oh, right here. That's at the top. I forgot. And then right there, you will insert your SIM card. Uh, no micro SD card. It's a very small device again, uh, but it's quite nice. It's it's very uh, niche and it's quite a delight to you, honestly carry. It's very light, very easy to use, very simple. And this is where I'm going to go on a small 30 second rant that this is probably what the Punked MP02 can do. So Punked, if you're watching this video or if you have a Punked, I mean, look at it. It has the contacts, it has the text messages. And even it has a music player, something that the punk could have because it has a even more recent version of Android. But this one that is 6.0, right? This is Android 6.0 that's quite old. They still have a music player here for this very basic device. So I would say punk kind of take a look into the future model niche phone is quite old at this point in time. But maybe they can develop something for the punk MP02 that has at least the calls Um audio recorder or the music available for people. So that was my rant for today. Um, there's a lot of things happening in the dumb phone market right now, and I probably will do a video about that quite soon. Uh, but uh, really nice device, really fun to use because it's so light, it's so nice, you actually don't feel that you're using it. And even though like the same thing goes with the light phone, like my light phone is already light, but this one is even lighter, even nicer. It has the buttons, right? So tactability is something that you can use. Uh, again, do not recommend it for the United States, uh, but I do recommend it for other parts of the world as long as you get an unlocked version. So that was the Niche Phone S Plus. Uh, if you have any questions about this device that I did not cover on this video, I, I'm decently comprehensive, but sometimes I forget, I forget things when I'm recording. Now, make sure that you let me know in the comments and I'll be interacting with you guys. Check it out, Future Model Niche Phone S Plus. And if it works in your area, let us know if you have tried it. It's a quite a nice device, very simple, and it definitely will reduce your screen time. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks for your support and your viewership, and I appreciate all that you do. Um, maybe one thing that I'll mention last is I did not text group text messages because, again, I did not have reliable coverage only for calls in that 2G area. So hopefully somebody in the comments can elucidate us whether there is group text messages on this device, which I would assume probably not, but it could be a surprise and yes. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.